Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lernard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the September 20th, 2017 new moon in Virgo transit. And um, anyway, uh, people, for those of you, a few of you that may not know just the general meaning of a, a new moon transit in astrology, well, this could be an ideal time to embark on a new endeavor or project. This could be a very revitalizing and rejuvenating period uh, for many. This could be a time where you might find this newfound energy uh, that you didn't have before. Anything that may have uh, been prohibiting you from making any progress, this could be a time where you might be able to discard it and, and, and get rid of it, obliterate it, and be able to move uh, forward. This could also be a time when uh, procrastination is just not in your DNA or in your vocabulary at this point. Any procrastination on starting something new may very likely come to an end when you have uh, a new moon. And this could be a period of very strong initiative and enterprise as well. Now, people that are uh, that will be affected strong, everyone will be collectively uh, can be affected by this transit but especially people that have the sun, moon, or ascendant in Virgo, and of course the zodiac sign, uh, cancer, sun, moon, and ascendant people, because uh, cancer simply, I mean, being ruled by the moon, they are very sensitive to transits of the moon, and because the moon changes signs uh, very quickly, and has many and has phase in and, and all because of all the phases and transits through different signs. I think a lot of this is attributed to why cancer is just so uh, temperamental. And as far as Virgo goes, especially Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant people that are going to receive uh, a conjunction uh, from this transit, they they will be especially felt uh, impacted by um, by this um, Moon transit, I believe. So anyway. Given that this is in Virgo, people, well, this could be a period where uh, this could be a good period for doing something new connected with analysis. It could be something work related, something that requires being very punctilious with details. It could be some like with computer programming, for instance. Uh, it could be an ideal time to start a new uh, diet or health regime. Uh, this could also, I mean, be the perhaps the beginning of maybe doing even cleaning and organization, uh, perhaps. Now, it's also important to look at the house that this falls in because, of course, this could be, uh, this could factor into the delineation very strongly. Like with me, I'm going to have this new moon in Virgo uh, transit. It's going to be in my fifth house. So this could be a period, perhaps, of me, uh, where I might start something new uh, that may be uh, something analytical and intellectual uh, amusement and enjoyment. Uh, and really, uh, this is something too. I mean, I'm also going to have this uh, make a conjunction. It's also important to look at the aspects that it makes uh, too. And uh, mine, uh, one of my aspects it's going to make, the transit new moon in Virgo is going to make a conjunction to my natal Pluto in the fifth house. So, this could be uh, perhaps the beginning of something for me connected with some kind of transformation and it may very well be health uh, related or perhaps work related but being in the fifth house it could very well be something that I may readily enjoy. So also uh, what's interesting is well, this uh, is going to be at the 27th degree of Virgo, this new moon in Virgo transit. And as far as a Sabian symbols go, I do believe in them, and I, I do believe you know the interpretations as far as they go. Uh, well, the 27th degree of Virgo, um, as far as Sabian symbols go, can indicate perhaps one that can attain success and affluence through industry and working laboriously. Now, if the person is not already, uh, especially if not already rich, now many uh, may embark on something service related uh, to the family. Uh, and others in general, but if the person is, say, the person is well off monetarily, this could be a beginning of a new period of Virgo-like frugality and make a commitment to not spending money on frivolous items. Now, 
Keep in mind too that we're going to have a very strong concentration of Virgo energy on this day. You're going to have the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars are all going to be in Virgo. I mean, the basic wants, which is the sun, the emotional needs, the moon, communication, which of course is Mercury, enjoyment, uh, Venus, and also money is Venus, and the vitality and energy, which is Mars, will be all tied in with Virgo industry and hard work and service. And uh, really, uh, this is going to be where people may be striving for perfection in all these areas. Now, also keep in mind that as far as um, this transit goes now the electional aspects may be intensified at this time because of this new moon in virgo now you're going to have uh the new moon in virgo is going to make an opposition to chiron in pisces uh, at this time and this could indicate perhaps that emotional wounds uh, connected with seclusion, uh, escapism, isolation, sometimes in some isolated cases, even drugs uh, and alcohol problems, wallowing in self-pity, it may oppose embarking on a uh, new industrious Virgo-like uh, uh, work endeavor. And also, um, Venus, so what I think is another, what's an interesting uh, aspect on this day, is that you're going to have Venus making a conjunction to uh, the fixed star uh, Regulus, uh, in, which is now in Virgo by a uh, procession at zero degrees. Now this could be auspicious for making money, perhaps through, uh, say this is gonna be analytical, uh, detail-oriented work, uh, maybe something ecological or environmental. Keep in mind that this Regulus at zero degrees Virgo, it's very, I mean, it's very close to where it had been, of course, at 29 degrees Leo. When it was at 29 degrees Leo, it indicated perhaps um, some, uh, perhaps being very proficient at astrology and attaining some high uh, stature um, in life and being successful. Well, given that this is in uh, Virgo now and it's being very close, well, just very close at zero degrees Virgo, I think it could still indicate that, but to some degree, but with a lot more Virgo like analysis and industry. So it could be a time where want many may start some kind of new uh, work uh, project. Maybe it, it could be um, astrologically uh, connected and maybe attaining, uh, maybe it would be really starting uh, something, um, a work endeavor, which would ultimately get a lot of people to some high stature uh, in life, but it can be done through uh, a lot of this Virgo, uh, really doing more analytical work and, and really being very industrious in the process. And of course, I think being in Virgo, being less flamboyant and attention seeking, it may, and there might be some notoriety and acclaim may just come naturally through one's industry and hard work. So anyway, people, That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the September 20th, 2017 new moon in Virgo transit. Stay tuned next time where I'm going to be giving you uh, my Leo October uh, 2017 horoscope forecast. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of someone astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well